Hello there, escapers. Welcome to episode two of Are You Insane? And the answer is no, I'm not insane yet. But this is effectively episode one in terms of logging the past two weeks of progress, along with all the other rules and additional things I've included. So first things first, let's have a look at how we did at the end of the previous episode in terms of boss pets, because that is the primary objective, of course. And uh, we had nine out of the 46 boss pets required for Insane Fighter Boss, which is 20% of the way there. And that episode was all about the base pet. It was all about the base pet because without the base pet, I wouldn't have started this series. So yeah, it was a great start. I really enjoyed making that episode, doing PVM for that episode, and also seeing your reactions and comments and feedback in that video. So thank you very much for that. I've actually incorporated that into this video, which I'll talk about in a few seconds. But I also trolled through some old footage to see what KC I got the pets at. And although I couldn't find everything, this is the information I have. So the luckiest one by far was Harakin, which was on 5kc while I was going for final boss to get 100 kills for final boss. Grada was pretty lucky as well. I trolled my friend Alex by apparently wanting to help him to get his pet because he was really dry on it. And he was helping me get some coin share drops for a different series called God Wars Domination. But um, yeah, I sniped the pet off him. That was really funny, actually. If you want to see that, uh, I have put a card up for that I believe right now so you can have a look at how that happened and most of my God Wars 1 pets well all my God Wars 1 pets were a bit of a fluke I didn't really go for them my primary objective was something else but I've also got three of the six legion pets again just by going for the signets not for the corrupted signets so um, yeah nine out of 46 some reasonably lucky pets some not so like the base pets and also the eddie pet the eddie pet is the other goal and at the end of the last episode i was at 6000 kc without seeing my second eddie pet my stack of blood necklace shards was at seven thank you for the hundreds of people who commented guessing what my stack will end up at by the time i get my second eddie pet the one i will hopefully actually pick up and claim so yeah, let's have a look at the progress in this episode. Really excited to be showing you some uh, real progress. And I mean real progress for Insane Fighter Boss. No faffing around. Just get right down to business. And thanks to your feedback, I have introduced a fee counter as well as a death counter. So each time I die, I'm going to see how much I lose for the death whether it be by paying for my Ring of Death recharge or by paying death if I didn't wear a Ring of Death or forgot to wear it or it ran out of charges or whatever. So I'm going to be adding all that up and at the end of the episode, you'll be able to see how much I have to pay death. They say there are two unavoidable things in life, death and taxes. Well, that's absolutely true. For me, it's death, uh, but by dying, I will also have to pay taxes. So uh, yeah, there'll be a live counter on the top left of the screen. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's begin. Just as a ah, uh, seriously, death number one. Wow, nice. Uh, that's why I like having a jelly ring with them. I know people say you don't need it, but seriously, how the hell did I die? My that's my thing. second death. <laughs> oh, I don't have a whole lot of food, so this is probably not a good idea. But there we go, death number three for the Insane Final Boss series. This time to the Chaos Elemental, and now I should get a message in my chat box or something like that saying I have dropped below twenty percent. Yeah, I have to turn my game to all for it to appear, but it does give me the warning. Your Ring of Death has two, less than 20% charges left. A number of times I've actually forgotten to recharge my Ring of Death when it was at less than 15% charge and therefore couldn't save me from death. Is insane. No! <laughs> I died to a cleave. That's death number five. Damn! Guess what? I died! Yay! Death number six. This time it was due to... I don't really... I don't really want to explain it because it's just embarrassing. The point is I died at Rack CP4. Something I'm very accustomed to but something that hasn't stopped being painful despite the number of times I've died in P4. No! I died! Number seven. But more importantly, as you can see from my inventory, another instance of me being an idiot, but before I say that again, let's get in here and start this last kill of path 2-3. One minute to reset. I forgot to uh, record my pet. So um, yeah, that is a epic fail moment. I don't know why my recording software was offline, but it was. So um, I forgot to record the pet, but I just got it this, this kill. So kept in my inventory as you can see what is the time now zero 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 when did i get the pet look at the chat i got it like minutes after i said 
like seconds after I said grats to my friend for getting the spider leg bottom and uh, yeah where did I get it let's have a look oh don't die don't die here that would be embarrassing actually it wouldn't anything's past embarrassing 2353 so about seven minutes ago I got the pet so feels awesome I'm probably gonna unlock it after this kill and hopefully get back to back with Mallory that would be nice wouldn't it or get a middle because this is the last kill of path two before it switches to path one and three after this kill assuming I don't die of course now here's a big question should I destroy it so that I have I have more motivation to do or Axel even despite uh, getting the pet because a lot of people do it and it sounds silly but uh, I can kind of see where they're coming from but not if you've been as dry as I have I can't really uh, be bothered to wait any longer for another one even though I know my drop chance is only 1 in 50 and it only took about 80 kills to get this one I say only but 80 it took me 80 or so kills since I got the base pet to get this first Erexite egg so I'm just gonna claim it to be honest um barry here we go let's let's summon him where is he barry barry come to um zenny all right nice never thought this day would come but it has nine two thousand nine hundred one that's uh 87 kills since my base pet and uh let's see if we can get back to mac that would be something wouldn't it no we can't but uh not complaining one bit i got three spider leg pieces before i got my barry in between getting the base pet and getting barry let's see how many we can get between barry and mallory nice how'd you do that man what do you mean? <laughs> every raid you get a coding <laughs> because i don't get any echo i'll see it there you go Yes, Sarge's ring, boot! Another one. Although, um, it's a repeat, what? Uh, I'm still only at 2 out of 10 for the uh, title here. Yes, 3 out of 10. 4 out of 10, guys. I actually got a beam for this one because it's worth more than 1 mil. But uh, nice. Another one. A repeat, though. Another hatchet. But still no pet. Yes, unique item. I think I'm at 5 out of uh, whatever it is, 5 out of 11 now. And another hatchet. Nice. I am loving this. I might even get the pets here soon. Not only the Dagonoth pets, but also the combat pets. <gasps> Uncut diamond, guys. Wow, I am rich. Oh, wow. I just wasted. Meteor Strike, Dagonoth Rex for the win. Yes, I finished my ring set. What else do I have to get? I might al almost be there, guys. I've even got the mod battle staff. I might even have a 7 or 8 out of uh, 10 or 11. I think I only need the 3 pets now. Excitement levels to the max. Yes. I think I got the warrior's ring in a previous trip as well. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got all the drops, all the unique drops except the 3 combat pets. Let's have a quick check, actually, since you can now um, check while you're in combat. So, Dagonoth Kings collection. 6 out of 10, what do I need? No, I haven't got the Warrior's Ring apparently. So, um, just the Warrior's Ring and the 3 pets to go. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> what? Boss pet number 11, guys, with my private off. And um, I should probably continue killing him. Yeah, that's 1 out of 3. And um, all I need to finish this title is the Warrior's Ring and the remaining two pets. That's a supreme pet. Feels awesome because it's kind of a bit late. Um, not really about, what, 2k kills I think for my first one, which is kind of late I suppose. Although, uh, no complaints whatsoever. Well and truly on our way to the Road to Insane Final Boss. Finally got a pet other than Araxel. Feels awesome. Let's go. Let's go get them all. And uh, that's my first boss pet with my private off. Kind of on an unrelated note, I thought I got another scale for a second there. Someone got a KBD scale. Yeah, seems to be raining scales at the moment. Raining being a two. Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh, Acto, how much is it? I think uh, a Mascab Codex is worth a bit more than that. But I'll definitely take it. Not complaining at all. I'm gonna take Acto and Codex. Don't care which one. That might be my second. That is my second, um, Chaps, Acto Tempest Chaps. What? Damn, I should have ma maged. God damn it. No, why me? Why? 
Really should get Staff of Sliska and Mage. Love. Apparently my luck of the dwarves um, helped me get that. I don't think it did. It just pro it just showed that it did. Uh, whether or not it actually helped me. I think that is death number eight. Forgot to recharge my ring of uh, death. So this is going to be my first payment to death. Uh, that cost me a bit more than the ring of death. Ring of death would have cost me 270k per death. Yeah, should have recharged it. Silly, silly zen. Just in time, these onyxes will be useful to re recharge my ring of death. That's going to be death number nine. I've run out of nine lives. Uh, well, nine deaths. So hopefully uh, I will learn from that and come back stronger. That was terrible because I, I died because of running out of food. Yeah, <laughs> after almost 3k Araxi kills, I still died to running out of food. <laughs> I uh, hurricaned him and it died on the same tick and uh, my sign only activated after the animation had finished. That's a first, even after so many kills, that is definitely a first. Okay, to give myself the best chance of getting all the pets, I'm going to activate all XP from all combat styles. Um, basically this means that hopefully I'll get the defense pet first. And once I get that, I can untick it. Once I get any of the pets, I can untick them. So I stop getting XP for them and focus my XP on the others. I'm not sure whether the combat pets are, are based on how much XP you... The size of your XP drop or the number of XP drops or total XP gained. I'm not sure which one it is. I'll have to look into that. And uh, yeah, that should hopefully let me know the best method to go about it whether to kill bosses or smaller creatures lots of them no death number 10 for this episode yep uh well i could have maybe avoided it i had the mirror back spawned and i should have expected it but i wasn't paying attention and i killed myself basically which is the only way i die by killing myself no one else kills me Yes! Mallory is mine. Yes! I have Mallory, guys. That's the end of Araxel. I think it's 2,922 KC, or 23, or something like that. And I'm done with Araxel. Wow, I never thought this day would come, but it has. Holy cow. No! Straight after I got the pet, I die. To running out of rock tails. God damn it. I'm pretty terrible here. Pretty terrible. Although my enrage is probably like 200 plus percent. Uh, death level 11. And um, yeah, I just want to check how many kills it took since I got the base pet. So I got the base pet at 2814. Um, I think I got three more kills before I actually got given the base pet. I don't know when I finish the skins, but uh, it's taken me 103, I guess. Yeah, 103 kills, um, which is just about right because the drop rate of the two eggs is 1 in 50 for me. So, um, yeah, that's exactly how long it's taken me. Couldn't have asked for more, really. Very happy with it. Let's unlock it before I... Actually, I had a thought of um, destroying it so that I... Can motivate myself to finish my four legs so i need two more tops and one more bottom and top's gonna close in three minutes so i better get going try and get one more kill there but yeah let's unlock it yes i've completed the araxo feet i believe so i think that's what friendly neighbor meant nice so that's got to be like my first ever collection complete who would have thought it'd be araxo after that epic base bet fail the end of a meme indeed the end of a meme gotta say that was kind of unexpected um i know that it was my last item that i needed but i didn't realize well i did realize it i just wasn't really thinking about it nice to have that first collection on the board though even though it was obviously going to be the first one because i was going to camp araxa until i got the mallory pet so um yeah 12th death um, I think everyone just died. I don't think we're gonna get that kill. Although it's only at like 200k HP left. Ah oh dear, dear, dear. Let's get the ring on because apparently you need to wear it before Yaka dies. And will I get the pet just to top it off? No, I won't. But I got the Mallory pet, so I'm not complaining at all. That was fairly smooth except for Beastmaster when I think one of the guys put, um, Evoke on their ability bar. Revo bar or something. 
<laughs> back to back from the Acto Tempest chaps to the Acto Terrorlith leggings. I'm not going to re-roll it. That's one more to the collection. Mud Battle Staff, a repeat item. Need the Warriors Ring. Let's hope we get it on this kill of Rex. Berserker Ring, sorry. Come on, come on, come on. It'd be funny if I get all three pets without getting the Berserker Ring even once. Yes, Warriors Ring. No, it's not the one I need. Ah, how much is it worth? 28k boys oh my god that feels like a almost feels like i got the pet yes all i need is the remaining two pets i am two off i believe that is the 13th death uh unlucky 13 i signed and then died immediately after really zen really well i can use pantheon now but the bad thing is that it's gonna run out come the end of the year so um gotta make the most of it what the hell? I melee then I got a web. I mage trying to get the fang and I still get a web. Not impressed at all. Oh, yes! This is the only reason I was doing a Raxel. To get this bottom, pe uh, bottom piece in order to um, get the same number of bottoms as middles. And now I gotta wait till one opens. I think that will be on Monday. Uh, to get two tops to make four legs. Nice. I love my look of the dwarves, even though I'm pretty sure that it's not the reason I got it, despite the game message. I think I get a game message for every single rare drop I get, whether or not it was because of the ring. Really? I died AFKing too hard at Corrupted Workers. Wow, didn't think I would die to something like that ever again, but I did. So that's a second death without the ring of death active, so I have to pay up extra. Damn it! What a way to finish by dying once again, and that being number 14. So, this is the first episode in which I can see progress over the course of a couple of weeks, and boy was there progress. Three pet drops, three boss pet drops, in the space of two weeks, and as promised, I'm releasing an episode every two weeks. And what I've been doing is logging my data between the start of a Sunday and two weeks later, the end of a Saturday. So that, that's exactly 14 days of progress. That's exactly what I've tracked here. So as promised, I'm going to show you all my data on rune metrics for this period. Let's start off with the number of kills I've done. As you can see, I've killed the Abyssal Demons quite a bit. That's because I've been doing a bit of Slayer trying to get the Eddie task in order to have a go at getting the Eddie pet. I've also been doing quite a bit of Dagonoth killing, as you saw, but also quite a bit of uh, Krill for my Slayer, as well as for my GWD Domination series, where I'm trying to finish that off. I haven't included footage of that in this video because that's separate. And if I do finish the collection by some miracle, I will include it in this series, but otherwise I won't. As you can see, I've got 62 Araxor kills, but only 56 Araxi kills, which means I died six times at Araxi and a few more times at Araxor, which is embarrassing. So quite a bit of data you can have a look at. It's quite interesting, I suppose. Try and figure out where you died, where you can improve. Haven't done too many of the bosses. I've done a bit of raids, of course. As far as the drops are concerned, well, the rune metric says I've got 121 mils worth of drops, but uh, obviously it doesn't count untradeable items. As you can see, I've got two Araxi eggs and a Dagonoth scale, which is pretty handy. Increased my pet count from 9 to 12 this episode. 33% increase. Don't think I'll ever get that big a percentage increase in any other episode but um yeah so i've got two araxes webs and a spider leg bottom in this episode the web is probably negligible value but the bottom is worth a third of a leg so about 45 mil so you can add 45 mil to this and uh, i guess you can say i've gained about 166 mil in this episode which is uh pretty accurate i suppose uh, not including the deaths and things. So if you add up all my deaths, as promised, they add up to 14. But there was a suggestion from one of you guys in the previous episode that it might be of interest for me to add up the value of my de uh, deaths, how much I spend on it. And as it turns out, well, I paid for my ring of death, 270k per death, uh, if you count the Paris of Onyx. I paid for that uh, 12 times and two times I didn't recharge my ring of death, although I died without it on, and I paid quite a bit more for those. So if you add it all up, it comes out to 4.8 mil that I had to pay in deaths, which uh, I don't know what to think of. I don't think it's too much. Once I start doing Telos and dying there without a ring of death, that will be pretty painful. 
if I say so myself. I've seen uh, I've seen some footage and some screenshots of how much people have had to pay death to reclaim their items from Telos deaths. So uh, not looking forward to that, but 14 is pretty bad. I need to improve on that number. I was kind of hoping to keep it under 10, but um, me being me, that's the way it is. Now we move on to the collections and the only collection we completed in this episode, which also happens to be the most obvious one, is a Raxor. As you can see, I've finished it. Um, far too many. <laughs> one fang, four eyes and three webs. I really need to do a lot of more mage kills. And uh, yeah, it feels good, to, feels good to finish it. And it's time to summon Mallory for the first time ever. Since uh, I don't want to give you guys a spoiler by summoning it and people seeing it before they saw this video. So here we are. I think, uh, yeah, I've summoned it. Nice. I never thought this day would come, but it has. It feels so good. So good to be able to summon Mallory. I don't think I've even summoned Barry because of, again, the spoiler thing. So yeah, straight to Mallory, guys, from the base pet. No messing around. Unfortunately, I don't think I've made any progress on the five collections that I actually need based on what you guys voted for last time but here is the title probably time for a little bit of a upgrade since I had the salty title for so long I'm gonna upgrade it to the Araxite why not why not show it off while I can it's the only collection I've finished so the only boss title I have although I'm expecting to get quite a few titles on the way to getting the remaining pets now although I you saw that I got about 166 mils worth of drops. Let's have a look at the loot tab itself. So this is the loot tab. I have added every drop I've got in the last two weeks into this. A few new extra places for Sophonim Slayer dungeon stuff. And I have been doing a lot of Slayer. So Slayer is going to form a big part of the series as well because of the Eddie pet. Unfortunately, I haven't got a single Edimu task. I've got a bunch of Dagonoth and Krill tasks, which I can't complain about. I do have the Krill pet from two years ago, but I only got one Dagonoth pet. So I still need two more Dagonoth pets. So I'll be doing those whenever I get a Slayer task. If not, if I feel bored, I will do them anyway, but preferably while I'm on a Slayer task for efficiency purposes. But apart from that, um, yeah, everything else is here. Uh, I'll say three things though. I have been using magic logs and U logs. Magic logs just ran out because I've been doing a bit of a fire making. Um, so those two, anything I get from PVM, I've been using it up doing fire making and also onyxes to recharge my hydrix items, hydrix jewelry. So everything else is still here. Haven't touched it at all, but uh, those items I have been taking out. And as you can see, I've got four middles and four bottoms uh, and only two tops. I've got the Mallory pet, so I shouldn't really be going back to Araxor. But the fact of the matter is I do want to make five legs at once. I've never done that. And uh, it's two, three right now. So I'm going to try and get the, the bottom and middle once more. And then when path one opens, I'll camp it until I get three more tops. So that's a small little goal. Uh, to go for. I want to also want to duo some tops to get better at it and also eventually make a duo Araxel guide. It is only really worth doing tops now that they've included. They've released drop rates for duos which is much lower than the drop rate for solos in terms of leg pieces and hilts at Araxel. So look forward to that. I'm actually looking forward to making a duo guide because I've learned so much by doing duos and how different Araxor is in a duo compared to a solo. What are my immediate goals? Well, I do want to get all the combat pets. So I've got 10 um, skilling pets out of the 19 possible skilling pets, which is quite remarkable seeing as I barely ever skill. But I do want to get all eight of the combat pets and I believe Crab is now part of them. Is it? It is. Well, with Crab, it's nine. So I want to get all eight. I haven't got a single one. So hopefully I'll get a few in the next episode. And uh, that's sort of a side goal. Obviously, the another side goal is to get the Eddie pet. I need to do a lot more Slayer. I have been doing quite a bit of Slayer. My Slayer tax task is currently 209 Soul Devourers, which means I'm probably I'm, I'm probably going to do Magister for all of them. So Magister counts as a Soul Devourer. I guess it's as good a time to do Magister now as any. I want to get the pet, but also to get dual Copper Shirts, hopefully, on my own. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So those are my immediate goals. As far as pets are concerned, I do want to get the Yakamaru pet as soon as possible. I want to get the DK's pet out the way, pets out of the way. Also finish off God Wars 1. I've only got the Zilliana pet left. As you can see, this is my current boss kills and pets. So I'm standing at 2,937 Araxor kills. And I got both Mallory and Barry within 100-ish, 103 kills of getting the base pet, which is pretty good. On par with the average, I suppose, of 1 in 50. Operate of 1 in 50 for me, given my 10 thresholds passed at least. I also got the Supreme Pet at 1675 KC I believe and not much other progress. I've done a bit of kills of the others but not 
anything to write home about. So I've done six raids, so six each of Beastmaster and Yakumaru. And here are the KCs at which I got the pets as far as I can uh, track them down. I spent a lot of time actually digging up old footage to look at these. And the only one I'll say is pretty lucky was Harakin. But I was pretty lucky with Krill and Grador as well. Grador was pretty lucky, not going to lie about that. Um, but the rest I'm still hunting. So we'll see when I get the pet and hopefully it won't take too long. And Raxel was the worst of them all. I hope. So those are my goals and uh, my progress in this episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. Another quick thing is that I'm going to probably reset my counter every episode. Not my overall XP counter, but just my combat slayer damage and GP counter. I've lost a lot of money because I've been doing fire making. So that's pure loss. But this isn't particularly accurate. Just want to keep a track just to see how well I do. That's pretty much it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions and feedback, let me know and uh, I will see you in the next one. Stay,